The storm destroys the turkey's fleets. The threat is past. They can celebrate. When the general arrives, the governor is jubilant, and Othello is delighted to see his beloved wife. Come, let us to the castle. News, friends, our wars are done. The Turks are drowned. How does my old acquaintance of this our honey? You shall be well desired in Cyprus. I have found great love amongst them. In the meantime, Iago schemes. His ultimate plan is to ruin Othello and he will do so by making it seem that Hazio and Desimona are lovers. Knowing Norrigo still loves Desimona, Iago repeats the lie to him. Besides, the name is handsome, young, and has all those reconciled in him that folly and bring my drug at her. A pestilent, complete man. And the woman has found him already. Incent. Rodrigo resolved to pick a fight with Casio. <laughs> to this end, Rodrigo appears with a supply, a supply of wine and invites Casio to join him for a drink. Casio refuses at first, but Iago persists, knowing that if Casio is drunk, he will be more likely to fight when Rodrigo challenges him. If I had compassion but one cup of pumpkin, we said, which he has drunk tonight already. He will be a dwarf of quarrels and complains as my young mistress talks. Kazuo finally accepts a glass of wine and soon there is a drinking session in progress. In the middle of this, Rodrigo makes his challenge and is knocked down by Kazuo. The noise of the difference brings out Othello. Horrified to see his officers fighting, Othello demands to know the cause. Roderick, uh, Iago appearing to defend Casio, manages to convince Othello that Casio is the cause of the uproar. Othello thanks Iago for his honesty and then demotes Casio for his seemingly uh, his unseemly behavior. I know, Iago, thy honesty and love thou means this matter, making it light to Casio. Casio, I love thee, but never more be officer of mine. Diego, ever the hypocrite, consoles the disgraced Casio, who is horrified by the term of events. Reputation, reputation, reputation. Oh, I have lost my reputation. Seeing a perfect opportunity to further his plans, Diego offers his advice. Casio should approach Desmona and ask her to intercede with Osado on Casio's behalf. Because Othello can refuse his wife nothing. Confess yourself freely to her. Importune her help to put you in your place again. This broken joint between you and your husband and treat her to splinter and my fortunes against any lay what naming. This crack of your love wish, love shall grow stronger than it was before. Cathio leaves and Diego considers his scheme. He intends to make Othello believe that Desmona is intervening on Cassio's behalf because Cassio is her lover. For whilst this honest fool plies Desmona to repair his fortunes, and she for him pleads strongly to the more, I'll pour this pestilence into his ear that she repels him for her body's lust. And by how much she strives to do him good, she shall undo her credit with a mob. So, so will I turn her virtue into pitch, and out of her own goodness make the net. That shall unmatch them all. After his conversation with Diego, Casio invades the house of Diego's wife, Amelia, who is, who is Desmona's attendant. Emilia arranged a meeting between Casio and her mistress. When they meet, Desmona agreed to support Casio's reinstatement. I'm supposed to be doing.
not doubt that before Emilia here, I give thee warrant of thy place. Assure thee, I do, if I do vow a friendship, I'll perform it to the last article. My lord shall never rest. I'll watch him tame and talk him out of patience. His bed shall seem a school, his board a shrift. I'll intermingle everything he does with Cassio's suit. Therefore be merry, Cassio, for thy solicitor shall rather die than give thy cause away. While they are talking, Otello and Iago enter the room, forcing Cassio, who is ashamed to face Otello, to leave the scene. Iago spots Cassio leaving and mutters aloud, Ha, ah, I like not that, bringing the matter to Otello's attention. Was not that Cassio parted from my wife? Cassio, my lord, not sure I cannot think it, and that he will sneak away so guilty like seeing you coming. I do believe twas he. Just Mona then begins to plead for Cassio's return to favor. Otalo's patronizing attitude causes Desmona to rebuff him. Why, this is not a boon. This, as I should entreat you, wear your gloves, or feed on nourishing dishes, or keep you warm, or sue to you to do a peculiar